S&P Global Inc., SPGI, holdings boosted by Highland Capital Management LLC. Highland Capital Management LLC increased its stake in S&P Global Inc., NICE SPGI, by 172.7% during the fourth quarter, according to its most recent Form 13F filing with the SEC. The firm owned 4,636 shares of the business services provider's stock after purchasing an additional 2,936 shares during the period. Highland Capital Management LLC's holdings in S&P Global were worth $785,000 as of its most recent filing with the SEC. Several other hedge funds and other institutional investors also recently modified their holdings of SPGI. Korea Investment Corp grew its position in S&P Global by 11.1% in the third quarter. Korea Investment Corp now owns 310,109 shares of the business services provider's stock valued at $48,473,000 after acquiring an additional 30,900 shares during the last quarter. Prudential Financial Incorporated grew its position in S&P Global by 3.4% in the third quarter. Prudential Financial Incorporated now owns 1,441,961 shares of the business services provider's stock valued at $225,392,000 after acquiring an additional 47,930 shares during the last quarter. Milestone Resources Group LTD bought a new position in S&P Global in the fourth quarter valued at about $66,273,000. Meet Munich Ergo Kapitalen La Gieselschaft MBH bought a new position in S&P Global in the third quarter valued at about $23,854,000. Finally, Bellpoint Asset Management LLC bought a new position in S&P Global in the third quarter valued at about $859,000. Institutional investors own 85.37% of the company's stock. In other S&P Global news, CEO Douglas L. Peterson sold 4,000 shares of the business's stock in a transaction that occurred on Wednesday, November 15. The stock was sold at an average price of $157.79, for a total value of $631,160. Following the transaction, the chief executive officer now directly owns 140,743 shares of the company's stock, valued at $22,207,837.90. The sale was disclosed in a legal filing with the SEC, which is available through this link. Also, EVP Courtney Gadoldig sold 1,404 shares of the business's stock in a transaction that occurred on Thursday, November 9. The shares were sold at an average price of $159.38, for a total value of $223,769.52. Following the completion of the transaction, the executive vice president now directly owns 1,259 shares in the company, valued at $200,659.42. The disclosure for the sale can be found here. 0.20% of the stock is owned by insiders. S&P Global Inc., NICE SPGI opened at $177.19 on Monday. The company has a quick ratio of 1.52, a current ratio of 1.52 and a debt-to-equity ratio of 4.00. The company has a market capitalization of $45,219.15, AP-E ratio of 264 AP slash E slash G ratio of 1.88 and a beta of 1.52. S&P Global Inc. has a 12-month low of $121.89 and a 12-month high of $185.34. SPGI has been the topic of a number of recent analyst reports. BMO Capital Markets reiterated a buy rating and issued a $177 target price on shares of S&P Global in a research report on Friday, 
October 13, Zacks Investment Research raised S&P Global from a hold rating to a buy rating and set a $178 price target on the stock in a research note on Tuesday, October 10. Cantor Fitzgerald reissued a buy rating and set a $177 price target on shares of S&P Global in a research note on Thursday, October 26. BDS Club lowered S&P Global from a strong buy rating to a buy rating in a research note on Friday, October 20. Finally, UBS Group lifted their price target on S&P Global from $173 to $185 and gave the company a buy rating in a research note on Friday, October 27. Six investment analysts have rated the stock with a hold rating and eight have given a buy rating to the company. The stock currently has a consensus rating of buy and a consensus price target of $172. About S&P Global S&P Global Inc., formerly McGraw-Hill Financial Inc., is a provider of ratings, benchmarks, analytics, and data to the capital and commodity markets around the world. The company operates through three segments, ratings, which provides credit ratings, research, and analytics to investors, issuers and other market participants, market and commodities intelligence, which offers multi-asset class data, research, and analytical capabilities that integrate cross-asset analytics and desktop services, and deliver their customers in the commodity and energy markets access to information, data, analytic services, and pricing and benchmarks, and S&P Dow Jones Indices. Indices which is an index provider that maintains a range of valuation and index benchmarks for investment advisors, wealth managers, and institutional investors.